We got a really big interview. Elijah Melendez. I thought he had one of the most interesting weekends across the country. He's from Kissimmee, Florida, Osceola High School. Six foot one and a half, 225, four stout, four star linebacker. Now, Elijah, you were in Jordan Hare Stadium watching that Auburn blowout. What was it like being at Auburn week one? Oh, it was electric. Like, I didn't expect it to be that big of a game with the opponent that they were facing, but it was just very electric. All right, Hugh Freeze, man. He is taking what he wants right now on the recruiting trail. Auburn has a top five class. What is it about Hugh Freeze that just lends him to recruiting and recruiting really well at Auburn? Um, he has a lot of faith, and he's just a really good person and a really good coach. Just a lot of faith. All right, you made some noise this week. You had been committed to the Miami Hurricanes since mid-December 2023, and you decommitted on Saturday. Why did you decommit from Miami? Um, Really, uh, family reasons, and um, just I want to focus on getting to the NFL mostly and going to college town where I can really focus. Mm -hmm. Okay, it – I was really intrigued by your timing of this decommitment. You decommitted two hours before Miami kicked off. Uh, what was the reasoning behind the timing of that? It wasn't any reasoning to it. Um, I really did it the night before. I just so you let the staff know the night before, and then you just made it public the, the next day? Yeah. I thought maybe you did it because, like, you knew the Miami coaching staff would be in pregame warmups and they wouldn't bother you if you decommitted like two hours <laughs> before the game. That wasn't why. No, nah, that would have been smart, though. I, that would have been a little <laughs> smart, I guess. So you show, but it worked out. I mean, you so you arrive at Auburn's campus, newly decommitted. Uh, is Auburn? Do you feel like they're making you a priority? Yeah, I feel like they're making me a priority. Who else is? I mean, who, you know, now that you're back on the market, who are the teams in contention for you right now? Um, it's really not too much in contention. Um, but there's been schools that have hit me up like more than before. Um, like Georgia, Oregon, Penn State, Michigan, um, Oklahoma, Ole Miss, Colorado. Nice. Yeah. All right, yeah, and and I know you did. You've already made a visit to Colorado. What other what other visits do you want to take this fall? I haven't really planned any other visits yet, so I'm not really too sure about that yet. Okay, kind of sounds like you're ready to make a decision here. Are you getting Are you getting close to it? I'm not. I'm not really sure yet. I'm just taking my time right now. I mean, I'm just doing the math. You went. You you decommitted from Miami. You show up at Auburn. You don't really have any other visits on your mind. You don't have any other real schools that you want to talk about. It seems like Auburn leads for you right now. Is that safe to say? Yeah, yeah, I would say that. All right. And when do you want to end this thing? When do you want to make another decision and, and make your final decision? Um, I haven't really thought about that too much. Um, I might make one coming up pretty soon. But I've just been focusing on my high school season, really, and trying to like not be a distraction to my team and any of that. Mm -hmm. All right. So what's most important to Elijah Melendez when it comes to making this final decision? What What's the most important factor for you? Um, family, family oriented program. All the players get well, like get along well and development, just just a system that gets everybody better and just it's going to win. All right. Well, I don't know. I don't know much, but it sounds like Auburn checks all those boxes. We'll just have to wait and see what Elijah Melendez ends up doing. Elijah, thank you for dropping by the inside scoop today after a busy weekend for you. Yeah, yes, sir. Thank you. I appreciate you having me. Well, you've made it to the end of today's video, but there's hundreds more videos on the On3 Recruits channel for you to check out. And also, while you're here, hit subscribe.